What is going on YouTube? This is Travis from Chasing Anthems coming at you guys with another reaction video. This one is coming from one of the most epic modern day metal rock bands. Uh, give it up for another than Dragon Force through the fire and flames. I know this is not a new track, but this is the first time I'm getting the opportunity to watch the video from beginning to end and review this track with you. Uh, let's go through this together. With that being said, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, hit the bell to be notified of future videos. Also smash that like button, leave a comment below. Let me know about future videos you'd like to see. Also, do not forget, check out our channel so you can uh, catch all of our original music and see you know what we're doing what we're all about you know we love doing reaction videos and we like you know supporting other artists but uh you know we're also doing our own thing and so i was hoping you guys could check us out and give us some feedback on our original music with that being said let's check these guys out i know this song uh made its popularity i believe on uh guitar hero 2 uh correct me in the comments below if that's not correct but i know it went from a good song to an epic song and just blew up uh, I've heard stories too of inspiring people to want to uh, start playing guitar and become a musician um, since it opened the door and exposed people to you know likes of playing guitar and riffing with a band and all doing all that kind of good stuff uh, and making it in a fun creative way and so anyways uh, I think this song is epic I hope you do as well but let's go ahead and we're going to review this one together. We're 21 seconds in. Arguably, we're we could be five, ten seconds in, and they're already doing stuff on the guitar that I can't do. <laughs> let me let me roll back really quick. Uh, Herman Lee is the one of their lead guitar players. I apologize, I don't know the other guitarist's name, but that over the top finger tap, throwing the guitar with the whammy, uh, is just that's some next level stuff. And I know that's inspired uh, many artists. Uh, it's on my to-do list of solos to learn, but let, let's roll the tape back because, I mean, that is just some crazy uh, guitar riff and stuff and uh, definitely some originality points for sure. If someone did that before uh, him, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below, but I have never seen that done um, other than, I guess you could say, Eddie Van Halen, but to this level, I think it's just, it's just wild uh, in my humble opinion. <laughs> I know I'm probably not going to get a lot of love in the comments for this one, but hey, it is what it is. Doesn't the lead singer look, have a little resemblance to Weird Al? Long hair, curly. Just say, don't hate. I'm just making observations here. That's what I'm. That's what I'm here to do. But uh, I, I get a little uh, Weird Al vibe from his his hair too. <laughs> There's so much there to unpackage um, 
but as far as originality goes and riffs and just it's like they they took every trick they had in the bag and they put it into this one track right you know like uh as a guitarist you know we have little riffs and things that we do and and little tricks that we like to interject um they literally went down that list and they said i'm gonna throw everything at this song um and so i give it up to them for just stylistically originality i mean just go down the list right they 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 hit it the checkbox on every single one of those it's pretty sick and it's it's cool to see you know uh go check out the the uh polyphia video that we i uh reviewed and very similar to where each artist brought their own element dragon force does the same thing each of those band members bring their own creativity and own element to uh this song to make it what it is uh it would be sick if just one of them was able to do this the fact that all of them bring it and just charge that song to the next level is just what makes this song special and i think what makes it stand out from uh so many of the other artists that have um you know are in this in this space <laughs> And to do it in harmony. That's the other thing is it's one one thing for one guitarist to play those riffs, right? And maybe use like an octafuzz or something, a pedal to like mimic the, those harmonic solos. But for have two guitar players to be playing in, in sync like that is just insane. I mean, one of the other artists that come to mind is Venge Sevenfold does you know very similar style where they'll have um, dueling solos. Um, um, you can hear that in one of our songs, Defy the Lines. Go ahead and check it out. And we do a smidgen of that. Not even close to what you're hearing here, but you can hear that, that harmonic solo uh, in different octaves, which is pretty cool. Uh, awesome technique, and it is very interesting, especially when you, you pan right, pan left. So you, you hear one solo in one ear and the other solo in the other ear. They're in sync, but they're in different harmonies. Uh, it's just kind of it's ear candy, if you know what I'm talking about there. It's a red day star meal in the lightning cracks the sky They raise their hands to the heavens above With the same things in their eyes Running back through the mid-morning light There's a bird in there All the other soloing wasn't enough we need to add actual solo break to make sure that we get enough guitar riffs in there right because that would make sense right i i have no problem with it man you can lay it on all day that's all good with me but it's interesting most bands would wait for this opportunity to break it up and add some more artistic creativity let the guitar players do their thing let their heads grow bigger than they already are all that kind of good stuff but no we just solo over the top of everything and then we give them another solo break because that makes sense i, I like that yeah that's cool <laughs>
For those of you who um, want to get into music because you weren't into competitive sports, um, music is very competitive. <laughs> I think that was a great little uh, dueling battle with a solo. It is a great representation of that. There is a lot of competitiveness into music. And um, it's almost kind of like a, um, a rap battle, a freestyle battle in that genre. Guitar solos has that same kind of like, I'm going to one up you, right? I'm going to drink a beer while you're doing it to show you that I'm not really interested in what you're doing. But then somehow we come together and we make this cohesive riff. Um, it's funny. There's some humor to it, even though it's subtle, but uh, it's very competitive, right? And staying on top of your chops. And these both these guys, phenomenal guitar players. Um, so check them out if you're you're new to Dragon Force. Um, also, I, I imagine this is a lot of what a live show um, would look like is seeing these guys go back and forth and just riffing and and just having fun with what they do. They're definitely masters of their craft. Um, you know, so I'm, I'd be interested to check out some of their other videos and, and stuff they've done. <laughs> Alright, so with that being said, that is Dragon Force Through the Fire and Flames. Uh, my reaction, from a song standpoint, phenomenal, right? Like, those guys knocked it out of the park. They're stellar performers, stellar musicians, very cohesive. Vocally, it's, um, you know, I think it's a little more of a derivative from the 80s and maybe early 90s uh, with the, the hair and the metal bands and stuff like that. It's cool that they're still carrying that on. I think there's definitely, uh, clearly they have a following, so that's pretty cool. What I think I would have liked to have seen, though, in this video is more of a visual representation of what this song actually meant. I, uh, you know, through the fire and flames, I know there's a lot of meaning to it. It'd be interesting to go through the lyrics and kind of do a deep dive into what they actually, what that song meant and what it symbolized and represented for those guys. And usually that's what a music video will do is kind of bring that together. Um, so I'd be kind of curious, like, what does the song even stand for? What does it mean? Um, or is it meaningless? This is just, you know, some lyrics over the top of a bunch of riffs with the guitar parts, the way they were and the performance aspect of it, you kind of get lost into what the actual meaning of the song is. And so I think that's unfortunate. Um, but at the same time, like it's still captivating and keeps your attention. So a uh, great song, great musicians. Probably could it be a better music video, but who am I to say, you know, these guys are killing it. So with that being said, I hope you like this reaction video. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Hit the like button. Smash that like button, right? Comment below and be sure to go check out some of Chasing Anthem's original music. And let me know about some future videos you'd like me to react to. With that being said, peace. I'll see you on the next one.